so uh, we 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 go on so i mean here i'm going to to do it very fast what you you have already talked so far so just to make a kind of a, a whole organization so in the first excerpt the excerpt number one we said ghrelin uh, we said ghrelin is a work as a edge for a network so uh, we had a network of three plays which was the hypothalamus the stomach and the pituitary gland so the the stomach produced ghrelin this ghrelin uh, goes direct to the hypothalamus the hypothalamus control the pituitary glands and then they, in, 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 they control in theory the metabolism so the question and that if you remember there was two two lines one was the continuous line the second was the dot line in the continuous line you, you had this, uh, this physical effect which he, which was the fact that the, the, the hormone goes to the hypothalamus and the hypothalamus produces hormone that goes to the pituitary gland. So we had a physical, something that was physically and also somehow accepted in the literature. The second line was the dot line, was in, in the intention to represent something that was more indirectly, such as when he, somehow the central nervous system, such as the sympathetic nervous system, sympathetic nervous system somehow affect the metabolism so it's an indirect effect so it's a effect it's not physical it's on a bioelectrical pulse such as the neuron affects some part of your of your body so that was the part i'm not going to again to to discuss it. you are welcome to come back to the previous videos so that that was the graph. So as I said before, you have continuous dot line. The continuous line means that you have a physical effect. The dot line means that you you have uh, indirect effects, such as by the sympathetic nervous system, you have a signal from 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 the central nervous system to the periphery, which is the your metabolism of fat and so on. So the second one was that the ghrelin. Uh, influence the fat utilization control so it means that the uh, ghrelin has a uh, effect on how much fat you utilize in a, in, a, in a period of time so it is a, a food it takes a short term short term control fat utilization is a long term control it's a, it's a reservoir of energy so in this case ghrelin plays a, a double rule uh, one is short-term control which is appetite controller the other one is a long-term controller which is a, a reservoir of energy which is fat control so you have a, a double control for a double a double role for leptin in your body so i'm not going to repeat again so i recommend you to see the video and the the most important graph of the, that time was the, the last one that that you 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 have you have uh, schematized the, the three most important hormones, which was insulin, ghrelin, and leptin. So insulin controls the amount of fat that goes goes in. The ghrelin controls the making an inhibition of the output of uh, of fat, and leptin signal your body how much fat you have. So so that that is the the third excerpt which we are going to discuss here it's in uh, that one is very it's very small i have not drawn, uh, have not uh, made diagram and so on because it is basically a confirmation of what we have already done so far so it's just uh it's nothing that you have too much to say ghrelin uh, acts as a brain ef efficiency signal which means the simple, simple idea that your yeah ghrelin will tell your your body to be more efficient because you need to store energy and it makes sense because if you are if you are hungry it means that uh, yeah, you cannot expend energy because somehow you don't know when you are going to eat even if you can see the food your body cannot see the food uh, just if you eat that so it's a signal to your brain that please start to to use energy more effici efficiently because i'm not quite sure when i'm going to eat so it is a, a what you can call the 
a plasticity, a plastical response because if you have a lot of food, you just uh, lack energy in your, in, your, in your life. If you are in a society where you have a lot of energy to expand, energy to, to, to waste, you are going normally to waste energy. If you are in a condition that you just can have blackout and so on, you are going to use energy uh, more efficiently, such as to to narrow, to canalize, to to put all the energy into just important important uh, process. So this this is the excerpt. So ghrelin signal the brain when increased metabolic efficiency is necessary necessary. So it is a uh, somehow makes sense from a, from a point of view from a, from, from a practical point of view. So this ex this excerpt is not among you with the previous one. So the previous ones that you have discussed. Uh, bear in mind that uh, uh, you you increase. Bear in mind that when you increase uh, the metabolic efficiency, you expect less energy to do the same job. So you have the amount of energy and you increase efficiency. You start to use less energy. Remember that energy is stored in your fat. So your fat is a it's a, it's a signal of energy stored in your body. So the key question is the time scale of this efficiency minutes, so short term. Uh, if so, we can see that you often parallel for insulin. So insulin asks you to store and the other one asks you to not use too much. So from the previous sentence, you can infer that it takes day. So, so if you if you consider the previous one, so it's harmony with leptin rather than insulin because it is like it is a, a process that it, it's a signal of your amount of energy that you have stored. So it should it must be a long term control. So uh, it was. Uh, you, you have uh, we have seen that uh, well in decreased fat utilization. So uh, if uh, it seems it's not very clear, yet, but it seems that we uh, work directly in the hypothalamus. So if it work directly in the hypothalamus, it has a, a, a that if you come back to the, the that previous picture of the network between the hypothalamus, uh, the the stomach and the pituitary gland. We have you say that the the ghrelin goes to the hypothalamus, the hypothalamus to activate such as the the central nervous system that asks you somehow to choose energy more efficiently. So it is a fact that is indirectly. In 